So, someone just told you that your site is really slow and it needs to be optimized. The person shows you the page speed grades and says, oh, it's really bad. You need to do something. And now you scratch your head and say, well, I don't know how to do that. Actually, it's really easy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with a couple of clicks. And the plugin we're going to use today is called Airlift. It's a totally free plugin. Just create your account, log in. And after that, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Since I already have one site installed, it already displays some information for me. But for you, probably show something else. One thing, though, I would like to mention is that if you're using any other plugins from this company, for example, Malkier or BlogVault or WP Remote, then they all share the same dashboard. So you will be familiar with it. Later, I'm going to come back to what is happening here. But at the moment, let's add your first site. So, go to the sites, add a site, enter your site, you click on continue, choose your plan, as I said, it's totally free, but if you need something else, then you can select the basic plan that is displayed here. So, select plan, and now you need to download a Airlift plugin. Just click on the download button here, save it to your computer, go to the plugins, add new plugin, upload it, install it, activate it. And now you'll be redirected to your Airlift dashboard. It says that it's analyzing your site. And based on your site size, it may take a bit time. For me, usually it takes 10 minutes or so. I'm going to come back to you here later. And meanwhile, while it's syncing my site, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Now you see it displays that I have two sites. Both are connected. As you see, the Airlift offers you a total site management option. If you have more than one site, you can connect all those here. And you can schedule the updates using this button. You'll see all the plugins and themes that need to be updated. And you can do that with one click. Just select the plugins you need to update and click here. By default, Airlift makes backups for your site. And if you need to restore the site, then just go to the sites, open up your site. Here you'll see all the information for this site. You can log in by using this button. You can restore your site using backups. For example, let's click on restore. And now you can choose what would you like to restore. I'm not going to do that. All the information is here. You can create staging sites, create new reports. There is an uptime monitor activated. And once again, as I said, it's all in a free plan. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, but now let's go back to the sites and see what is the status for this site. As you see, it's still syncing. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you what did I do beforehand. I set up the site, the one you see on the screen right now. It has a book installed and a bunch of other stuff, as you see. A long and scrollable site. What else did I do? I measured it with a page speed insight. And as you see, currently the performance grade is 61. And time for the first Contentful Paint is 4.1 seconds. And for the largest Contentful Paint, it's 11.9 seconds. This is before the optimizations. I also tested it with a Pingdom. The performance grade here is 55, load time is 2.99 seconds, page size is 2.7 megabytes and there are 121 requests. At the same time, GT Metrics says that the performance grade is 83%, largest contentful page is 1.7 seconds. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Now let's go back to that Airlift dashboard. All the synchronizations have been done. So let's open up the site. And as you see, currently it says that performance grade after the optimizations is 76. Let's take a look at the details. And you'll see, based on the tests Airlift did beforehand, it says that the performance grade for the original site was 28 and now it's 76. If you scroll down, you'll see all the optimization it has completed and the results for it. Now just to test it, let's grab the URL, go to the PageSpeed Insights site, let's analyze it, let's go to the Pingdom, do that again, let's test it, and let's go to the GT Metrics and analyze it here. And one more thing, let's open up it in the private window, and as you see, site opened up really quickly, and if I open up my Performance Analyzer extension, it says that the loading time was less than a second, 59 requests. Let's browse on the site, let's take a look at the shop, and about page, and service pages, and gallery, really snappy, really fast, awesome. I'm going to close it down, 
and let's take a look at the results from the page speed now it says performance for the mobile is 92 and for the desktop it's 100 before it was 61 and 86 now let's take a look at the loading time first contentful paint is 1.4 seconds and largest contentful paint is 2.4 seconds but previously it was 4.1 second for first contentful paint and 11.6 seconds for largest contentful paint so it's much faster than it was before at least four to five times faster next let's take a look at the pingdom it says that the performance grade is 92 loading time is approximately half a second 57 requests and page size 2.1 megabytes and beforehand it was performance grade 55 load time almost three seconds 121 requests and page size 2.7 megabytes last one let's take a look at uh, gt metrics as you see it says that performance grade is now 97 percent loading time is 672 milliseconds and before it was 1.7 seconds and the performance grade was 83 percent and all it took was to install an airlift plugin do its magic and done now before i wrap up some other things for you to see first under the optimization details you'll see what was the score for the original site and what is it now you'll see the page load comparison and there is also another nifty tool that is called visual regression test this feature is designed to ensure your website's visual integrity across updates and changes for example when you update plugins or teams or make changes to the site then even small tweaks can sometimes alter the appearance of your site in unexpected ways and this is where visual regression testing steps in as you see this is my site before the optimization and if i open it up i'll see what is happening now this way i can scan it and see whether something has been altered or something is messed up and if it's so then i can go to the other quick action optimization settings and tweak it a bit so let's take a look at the quick actions under the quick actions you can disable the plugin purge the cache or re-optimize the site under the optimization settings you can exclude urls disable caching disable javascript for specific urls you can activate or deactivate script minification deactivate those if you notice that after the optimization something is broken and the same goes with the css style sheets you can activate or deactivate lazy load images and you can do the same for the conversion of fonts this is a lighthouse report but as you see it somehow is different than the one we did here i don't know why is that but nevertheless site speed is much faster than it was before now if i open up the site then as before i can see all the plugins i can deactivate or activate them all from the same admin panel also if you need to update your plugins you can also do it here let's update those two plugins let's select those click on update button next and you'll see there is a quick update option safe update option and sandbox update i'm gonna do the quick update it started to fetch the latest info updated the plugins and as you see the last thing it does it purges the cache which is also a useful feature when this is done i receive an email with a message plugin upgrade successful great now as you saw this was one of the notifications but if you would like to disable or enable the notifications then you can configure those here just select the ones you would like to activate and under the configuration you can set the collaborators for the info warning and critical messages one more thing if i go back to my site and go to the dashboard then you'll see there is an airlift menu down below here if i click on it then nothing happens here I can click on the visit dashboard button if i click on it i will be redirected back to the same place i was before i can disconnect it or connect new account nothing else happens here there is a settings button up here if you click here then there is some information for you you can add your site username and password here you can enter your server ip address here you can set up the synchronization time update url add tags disable auto updates 
disable auto upgrade of database for some plugins for example WooCommerce does that you can deactivate it here you can connect your site to the Google Analytics and add some pages and the last thing if you would like to delete the site then just click on this icon here now in this video we talked about website speed optimization but if you take a look at the video that is on the screen right now then you'll see that I have also made another video about biggest SEO score myths so take a look at this video because I'm pretty sure it's also very useful to you in the meantime take care